This is Jorge Rivera with FirstCoast.tv, and we're here with Carla Wagner. She's the owner and operator of the Corazon Cinema and Cafe. And so this is the month of the woman. And we here at First Coast have been talking to a lot of women, uh, you know, mayors, uh, commissioners, uh, people in sort of a political office kind of in a way. Mm -hmm. But you'd be our first person that we're talking to who's a business owner, a businesswoman. And so, tell us a little bit about your Corazon Cinema. What is it all about? Well, the Corazon Cinema and Cafe is, the best way I can describe it, is an art house. We encompass so many things here, from films to great food to actually, I'll use the fun to go with the F words. Um, at, we have a variety of events that go on, a lot of which I do with the community, such as the homeless awareness. We uh, have where they can hold an event, live box, Lee Weaver performed, and they were able to take all the proceeds from that particular um, exhibit and do a little fundraising for themselves, as well as the alumni for the deaf. We did a similar situation. So I have a lot of community involvement, but I also have a business that helps support the community, which I felt we wanted to have here in the community okay. a local theater, something that we get so many people coming in from out of town saying, oh, we don't have this in our town. This is such a great little idea, as well as our locals here that can walk across the street and enjoy a, gr a great film or some food, too. Well, yeah, I noticed that Corazon is, is a very giving uh, business with the community. I've covered a couple of events here, uh, which is something that you give from your heart to the community. Uh, but here's my question. <clears throat> For someone who opens a film house, okay, what's your relationship to film? My film goes way back to my childhood where um, I grew up in a little town not too far away called Winter Park and had the great experience of enjoying the Enzion Theater, which is one of the very well-known theaters uh, nationally now as well. And as I was growing up, they played independent foreign films, cultured films, and I spent more time than none at the, this particular art house and really had a passion for it. As my kids came along, I started to get involved with the theater quite a bit and also did some of the acting on the side as well. But uh, through my experience, which encompasses quite a bit, which is always good because we can always add to things such as my business side or my marketing side or my theatrical side, kind of came with the, up with the idea to revive this for the community. It was not on my bucket list to do. Um, I use the word serendipity because it just happened, okay. but it worked out beautifully. I've had so many positive responses from the community about reviving yes. this. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've come across the oldest brick here in right. the city when wow. we dug under the bookshelves yes. and the plaster. <coughs> uh, we've also saved something that was, I think, a, a valuable part of uh, history here. Um, mm -hmm. It started off as a stable and went through many, many, many yes. owners, and, yes. and it's still here, which right. is great. So yeah. I'm hoping that we can all continue to enjoy mm -hmm. it. The business that was here before yours, it, it was time. I think it, it was at its last legs. Right. And so you coming in here and refreshing this place, because this place looks wonderful. And I tell everyone who's watching this clip on firstcoast.tv, come here. If you don't come to watch a film, come to have lunch, come to have a beer, a refreshment. It's right in the center of town. Right. It's, not, it's not like you're driving in here. You're right in the center of town. And I do have free parking, by the way. Mm -hmm. I mean, all this parking is on the side of my building. If you come in for lunch or you come in for a movie, you know, um, you don't have to worry about paying for parking or anything all of right. that nature. And then everything after five o'clock, both of the parking lots adjacent to this building open up. So we have a tons of free parking right. around here. Well, so. I want to thank you for bringing something as unique as this. Uh, I myself love film. Um, and so for you to bring something that has independent film, also now you're playing films that won Oscars, right. uh, to have so much going on here, it's wonderful for St. Augustine. And I thank you, and I know the people in our community thank well, you. Well, thank you, Jorge. Thank All you right. for having me on. Have a lovely day. Thank you.